Is. Ah, thank you, you little tomcat. No. Yes, he's, he's a he's sort of purring over there, isn't he? Firing today. Oh, yeah. Listen, welcome back to Countdown. Haven't been on for a long while. No, it's true. It's true. So, what's happening with the band? Well, we are uh, been playing for you know, the last few months very, very steadily around the country, and uh, we're coming down to Melbourne, actually, uh, in about a week's time. Right. We'll do a week's worth of gigs here and do uh, I think the Saturday night Moomba show, right. which would be great. And... Um, we're going to go back in and uh, do some pre-production work for a new album in about uh, a month's time. Well, any songs written for it? Oh, lots of songs written. Yeah. It's a matter of finding out which songs we're actually going to put on the album. Do you actually test it out with audiences? Does that have an influence on you? you know, yeah, it really that? does. Um, I suppose that argument falls flat when you think about What About Me, which yeah. we've never played. But right. uh, we do test them out a lot on people. I mean, that's who you're selling it to, marketing right. it to. We often just sort of ask people who come see a lot of gigs, what do you think of this song? Do you right. like it better this way or the old way? And right. So it works out well with the public. Well, listen, you're, it's your show today. Ugh. So uh, how about going into the show with the, with this particular single from... I don't know if you like China Crisis. Oh. Well, I'd never seen it or heard oh. it before until you, we saw it in rehearsal. Right. Yeah. Well, I, I really like like the, the group. But this song has been out for a long, long while. But they've sort of re-released it and it's starting to work in the charts. And we think it's got a great chance of going top ten. So here's China Crisis with... Working with Fire and Steel.